this DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. Okay. So what is the dynamic host configuration protocol? Dear, here we will allot the IP address, private IP ranges to or the public IP ranges to any any local area network. Okay. If I put a command IP config slash slash all what i will find that here i'm using an ip address which one here is my ip address 192.168.11.100 okay something like this okay and here you can see that DHCP server is 192.168.1.1, right? What I'm using? The DHCP server is 192.168.1.1. And yeah. my subnet mask is IPv. My IP address is 192.168.1.9, right? Okay, so yeah, what is yeah. what is happening here? This is my router. Okay, and there is a switch, switch, and I have several PCs in my network like this. Okay, so that is what going on here, like this. Oh, sorry, this. So these PCs are connected with the switch, like this. Okay. And we have, and this router is connected with the, with the ISP. Okay. And we have given an IP address that is 192.168.10.1. Okay. This IP address has been allotted to this router and remaining IP address like 192.168.10. Oh, sorry, this is 1.1. Okay, 192.168.1.1. Okay, and this kind of IP address is allotted to everywhere. Okay, 192.168.1.2. This is 192.168.1.3. And this is my PC. This is 192.168.1.9. Okay, dear. So now the question is that how automatically, how automatically these IP address allotted, how, how these IP address allotted automatically, right? Hello? Yeah, on the stand, yeah. Yeah. So how how these these IP address allotted automatically? Okay. So what I have I have a network like this. This is my router, and this is another router like this, and this is a switch here, switch, and some PCs connected. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And these are connected like this. Okay. Okay. So if I talk about the IP address, do these PC have any IP address? No. Do, do this router has any IP address? No, we have not assigned any. No, we don't have assigned any. Okay. But what, what I will do, I will make this router as my DHCP server, okay? This router will become the server which will allow... So, 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 so what happens is that this router is the one that is going to assign the IP addresses yes. to the system. Yeah, this so router... The IP, address, the IP address will change the next time you sign in. Yeah, that can be changed. That depends on the allotment. Okay. Yeah, the availability of IPs. Yeah. So, dear, we will we will see practically that what's what's going on. Okay. After making the DSTV server. 
is it allotting every time or not okay right hello yeah i'm with you yeah let's see what's going on okay so dear i will uh, uh, i will allot a range of what 192.168.10.0 okay i will allot complete range of ip address of class c to this to this local area network okay which one i will allot to this local area network and by the help of which router this router will will allot okay so let's see how is it possible 192.168.10.0 okay this is the network i will i am going to allot okay and this will be my dhcp server and let us assume this router because every time when you have to access a router that router must have the router interface must have an an ip address okay 192.168.10.1 okay i am allotting this single ip address to which one to my router interface this one okay okay hello yeah so yeah i'm with you i'm with you yeah so dear we will start configuration no i don't need enable configuring terminal okay now what is next interface g 0/0/0 slash zero slash zero. this interface dear if i talk about the switch interfaces these are by default turned on right or not these are by default working right right or not you can see that these are turned on automatically hello these are green but in case of router you have to manually turn up interfaces okay every time you have to manually turn up the interfaces so how to do that interface g0/0/0 and there is a command no shutdown this command will turn up the interfaces you can see these are green now right or not yeah yeah okay so let's give an ip address ip address 192.168.10.1 i'm allotting this ip address to what to this interface okay and subnet mask will also be allotted to 55.255.255.0 okay that is done now we have allotted the ip address do i have allotted any ip address here hello have you allotted an ip address yeah we don't have allotted any ip address here so what's do next okay now i will make this router this router the dhcp server okay how to do that first of all i will i will give a group group is called pool what is the meaning of pool pool is called group what pool is called a group in what in case of ip address pool is called a group and group will start from 192.168.10.0 right but zero you already know that this is the network That's id right yeah network id right yeah so this is the network id i cannot allot this one okay so first ip address will be 192.168.10.1 
बट यू नो दैट दिस इज माय गेट वे राइट दिस इज योर गेट वे हियर आई हैव अलॉटेड दिस आईपी एड्रेस एज गेट वे राइट और नॉट Now, yeah. what will be the first IP address to be allotted? That will be one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot ten dot three. One ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot three, and the last IP address will be one ninety two dot one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot which one two fifty five, right? And this will yeah. be your broadcast. Broadcast, okay. You cannot, you cannot this, uh, you cannot allot this one also. Okay, so last will be one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot two five four. So these will be allotted. Okay, starting from ten dot two. Okay, so now let's allot this group to this router, and this will assign these IP address to these PCs. So how to do that? Let's see. <laughs> Exit. IP DSCP. What I'm making? What DSCP server? IP DSCP pool CCNA. What I'm giving this pool a name. The name of this pool is what CCNA. You can take any single name there. Okay. Right. I can give here. Ravish, that is my name. Okay, or Neeraj. Okay, I can give any name here. Okay. okay. So what I will yeah. choose? I will choose the name word CCNA here. Okay. Which one? CCNA. Okay. So IP DSCP pool CCNA. This is my pool, and I will allot a network to this network. I am allotting a complete network to this pool that will be one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot zero, and the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay. Now what will be my default router? This is the IP address of my default router, right or not? This router is default router, yes, but how yes. to address this router by the help of this IP address? So default router will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one. Okay. Now you have to allot the DNS server that can be two dot two dot two dot two. Okay. It's done now. Morning. Why is it two dot two dot two dot two? Why two dot two dot two? Dear, to communicate in layer three, you need a DNS server IP also. Okay. Is it, so is that, that is. The... Is that, that is a random. Server, yeah, that is DNS the server. DNS server. The DNS yeah. server. Is it that it has a different kind of um, IP configuration? Yes, yes, yes. Different kind of IP configuration I can do, and that is random. I am giving this random. Okay. Okay. Exit. Now, what is the next one? Okay. You know that this IP address already used by your gateway, right or not? This is your gateway. So you cannot allot this gateway IP address to the DSCP server. So we have to exclude this gateway from the pool, right or not? Yeah. So how to how to how to delete this IP address from the uh, from the range of DSCP pool? That is how IP DSCP excluded address. That is one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot one. So it will delete the information here. Done. Okay. Exit. Done now. Now what will be the next? Let's see. Are my PCs getting the new IP address or not? Okay. Let's see. Have so you assigned? I'll... Have you assigned the? Have you assigned the IP address pool? Yes, I have assigned the IP address by the help of this configuration. By the help of this configuration, I have allotted the pool to my router. Where, where but, did you allot the pool? I'm not seeing the I'm not seeing the IP address string where you um. This is the. Or, yeah, yeah, dear, I know that. I know, I know. 
This is, is command. here. Here is it. One ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot zero. The meaning of this network is what a complete range from ten dot zero to ten dot two five five. Two five five. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So I have allotted the complete range here, and default router is this one. DNS server already uh, allotted, and I have deleted this IP address from this range because this is my gateway. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Are my PCs getting the new IP addresses or not? When I will click this one, and let's see, click on desktop and IP configuration. When I will click on DHCP, here I don't have any IP address. Yeah, no, yeah, because it's static. When you click on DHCP, it will come. Yeah, up. when I will click the DHCP server, it's getting an IP address one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot two. 192.168. And here every single values filled automatically. Right or not? When yeah. I will click on second one and will ask an IP address, click on DSTP, it will get some IP address. Okay. When I will click yeah. this one and request the IP address, it is doing the same. Right or not? Yeah. Right. Dear, when I will click the next one, this one, it will do the same process. Okay. But, but I will not do, I will not do this on last one. Why? Because we will see practically what. We will see practically how the DSCP server is working. Okay. Okay. So let me open my simulation and let me cite this one. Okay, this one is here now. Visible. Okay, dear. I, I have opened the simulation. Let me let me request the DSCP address. Okay. When I will click the desktop. And click on the configuration and click the DSCP. What will happen? Let's click. You can see a packet is has on, been just on, on the router or is on the switch it's that you on the PC. I'm doing okay. PC, okay. When I will click, when I will click here, the DSCP, click on DSCP, it will generate a DSCP multiple times. That is okay. a multiplying. That's why it's so many. Okay. So I, I have to do again. Okay. So it has requested already. Okay. Let's skip this one. And let me collect, connect one more. Okay. When I will connect a laptop here. And we'll connect like this. Okay. It will also get an IP address. Which one? 192 here any here you can see you cannot see any ip address right or not yeah you choose dhcp to assign an ip yeah. address to you. yes let me choose the dhcp click on when i will click on dhcp it will generate a packet which packet which has the information of what the dhcp the dhcp message will be generated okay dear do yeah. Do this this PC has any source IP address? So source IP is zero. Because why the source IP is zero? No idea. Because this PC don't have any IP address. That is why this is zero 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 zero. <laughs> right? Okay. What I'm requesting? I'm requesting my IP address, right? That is means I don't have any IP address. Do I have any? Okay, yeah, I'll look at yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, that is why the source IP is what? Source IP is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. Okay. If I talk to talk about destination IP, what is the destination IP? That is 255.255.255.255. What is the meaning of this IP address? Source, yeah, that is called broadcast. This is called 
broadcast and okay. let's see how the broadcast will work okay what is the source mac address source mac address is 0060 here you can see the source mac yeah. address right dot yeah. 5c77.7703 okay this is my source mac address what is the destination mac address that is f f f f dot f f f f f f f f what is the what is the meaning of this one this one is again the broadcast okay what is the source port number source port number is 68 source port number is 68 right and destination port number is 67 right or not yeah here you can see okay because port number is different for both yeah. source and destination. Okay. Yeah. What will happen when this, this DHCP message will be forwarded to the switch? What switch will do? Switch will do broadcast when this, when this will forward it to your, your which one? Your switch. Switch will do broadcast, right? Yeah. Okay. This ha this message has been discarded. Why? Because this was newly added connection. Okay. Just wait a while. We have to do again. Okay. Let me connect. Disconnect this one. Let me check what will be the IP address. Is already getting the IP address. Okay. In case I have to do do this again because that the link was not boot boot up. Okay. Let me do this again. Okay. Let me connect a PC again. This is the PC, and that has been connected with this like this. Okay. And let me now this is green. Okay. Now we can request the DSCP. Okay. Now well, I will... understand this this connectivity. This connectivity. I notice they are of different types. The connectivity, the wire, that connection. They are of different types. Yeah, there are different different types of connectivity. Yeah, yeah. I notice. I notice. And I notice that when you when you move when you try to connect them, uh, like for example, a PC to a server or um, to a router or a switch. Yeah. It gives, yes, like yes, an, yes. it gives you like an <laughs> interface to it gives you like there, an interface to choose anything. Yes, but yes, your own yes. does not give that interface to choose anything. Yes, you have yes. to use what port or whatever, whatever, whatever. Is it port two or port three or whatever? But your own does not show that. There, here you can see the you really configure your own. You can see the port number here. This is the port number F zero slash eight, right or not? Yeah. Yeah, this one is the port. This is the port of PC F zero slash zero. There, there are so many types of cable. What is doing? What is this? Automatic choose any connection type. This one is console cable. This cable used to program the switch. Okay. This one is copper straight through cable. This is 100 Mbps link. Fast Ethernet port. Okay. Fast Ethernet link. This one is copper crossover cable. This one is again another type of cable. This one is fiber cable that is GBPS link. That is IP phone cable. This one is coaxial cable. This one is DCE serial cable. This is serial DTE which is used to connect the routers, two routers. Okay. And this one is octal cable. This one is IoT custom cable and this is USB cable. So we have different different type of cable here. So when I will click this one, this will automatically choose this cable. Why? Okay, okay. Because I'm connecting the, the switch with the PC. If I talk about this okay. one, okay, this one will connect the two switches. Okay, this is copper straight, uh, copper crossover cable. Okay, this one is fiber okay. cable. This one is phone cable. And you have seen many times this is DTE cable. This is this will connect the two routers. Okay, so different different cables. So now let me try to request request the dhcp again okay when okay. i will request what will it the packet will be generated will have the same information right or not that i have written here okay yeah 
And what is the meaning of this FFFFFF? The meaning of this one is broadcast. Means when the packet will be forwarded to the switch, switch will do what? Switch will do broadcast. 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 Yeah. You know, uh, all of these are DSCP server? No. Are these DSCP servers? These no, pieces no, no. are DSCP server? No. No. Which one is DSCP server? This one is DSCP server. Yeah. 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 So this is accepting the packet. This one is accepting the packet. And you can see what are the details in this packet. The same details are available here. Right? Yeah. Right? So what we will we will get? When when this packet again forwarded to the switch, when this packet will be again forwarded to the switch, what will happen? Okay, let's see what will happen. Okay, it is forwarding an ARP message. Which one? An ARP message. Why? Why it is sending the ARP message? It is checking the destination IP 10.9. The, why why this is sending this packet dear no idea because it is checking that this ip address is allotted in any of these pc or not that is why it is sending this ip address it is send, sending this one ip address okay so this will be forwarded everywhere so all of them will Reject that no one has this IP. Which one? 192.168.10.9. Which one? 192.168.10.9. This has not been allotted. Everyone has re rejected because this one is 10.8. Okay. This is 10.7. This yeah. is 10.6. This is 10.5. This is 10.4. And something like this. Okay. Four. That is three and two. Okay. Something yeah. like this. Okay. Yeah. So these are already been allotted. This has not been allotted. So it is checking that is this IP address allotted or not. Now see what's next. Okay. It is rejecting the packet. Okay. After some time. Let's see. This is again the DSCP message. What? The DSCP message. The DSCP message. This is the this is my DSCP message. Here. It, is, it will be forwarded to the switch. By what? By the by the by some header. What are the header? 192.168.10.1. Destination is available here. And here you can see the client hardware address. 00D09870D008. Okay. So these are available details. Okay. Let's see what will be the next. It will be forwarded. Broadcast. It will again broadcast. Everyone will reject except of one. Which one? This one. Because when we have sent the packet. We had the source MAC address here. Okay. Now let's see what are the information now. Now you can see again we don't have the have the destination IP address. Why? Because still it is it hasn't been allotted. Okay. So it will go back again with some details like zero. What are the details here? You can see. The destination IP is again not available. Okay. The client address is available. That is 10.9. So these values have been allotted. Let's see. Do I get any IP address now? Hello. It should be an IP address now. Yeah. No. Why why I don't have any get any IP address? Because that is four types of that is four steps of process okay 
now it will go back with some information and will again send a packet here okay again the packet will be forwarded everyone will reject this packet except of one this one will accept this packet and here you will find the outbound details in which in which you will find the ip address of the client okay and hardware yeah. address of the client is available everything is available here okay because this is the new address here you can see let me correct this one zero zero uh, this is zero zero let me correct this one okay zero zero d zero dot nine eight seven zero dot d zero eight zero okay now yeah. what is what will happen here the uh, the dscp message has has taken an ip address okay now when i will click the pc and go to desktop it has get an ip address okay yeah okay so now you can you already know that when the new pc get an ip address it will always always do the broadcast to check the ip address of the neighbors or mac address of the neighbors okay now the dscb process has been done okay dear so what was the complete process that was four step process what what were the four step discover first of all discover okay offer discover offer reply and acknowledgement so that was four step of process in first step it was discovering the dscp server a message has been sent from here to find the dscp server okay once this will find the dscp server dscp server will offer an ip address like this that i have this ip address for you do you want to accept this offer it will reply yes i have i want to accept the offer then it will send again the acknowledgement and this ip address will be allotted in last process that we have seen this the same processor have been done okay you want to see again this one the, the complete process yeah okay so let me do the real time i will again connect a pc this is 192.168.10.8 10.9 okay so let's see again the complete process simulation okay <coughs> let me connect a pc here this is connected okay let me connect a cable here do this pc has an ip address no no still don't have do we know any information from here no, no we don't we don't have any information okay let me open the simulation now it is green now okay let me open the simulation and will start request the dscp dscp configuration okay a packet will be generated there it will discover it will discover the dscp server how the discovery will be done you can see that we only have we only have the source mac address what are what is the source mac address 0003 dot yeah. dot e four two. yeah e 4 2 b right to be dot zero zero nine five okay yeah. so what will happen happen this packet will be forwarded where this packet will be forwarded to the switch and switch will forward this packet everywhere the these will discard this packet and this will accept this one which one 
this this switch will accept this packet okay why because this is the dhcp server that is why this is accepting the packet okay yeah now we have the client address client address means the address of this one okay we have the client address here wait okay we have the client address only the client address here right we don't have yeah. the server address we don't have the have the client ip address or any relay agent everything we don't have okay so what it will do it will it will broadcast a, an app request which one first of all it will check the ip address to be allotted is what 10.9 already been allotted. What will be the next IP address? 10.10. 10.10. 10.10. So by taking this IP address 10.10, it will start broadcasting an ARP ARP packet. A packet it will start broadcasting to check that this this IP address has been allotted or not. To check this one, it will forward a packet. So it will be forwarded to the switch and switch will again broadcast, right? Everyone will yeah. discard the packet. Why? Because this IP address has not been allotted, right? So this is yeah. all about the confirmation, right? So yeah. what will be the next? This is offer message. This is offering the IP address, okay? Now, the second part of the offering, okay, this one. A packet will be generated now. Here you can see a packet will be generated again, okay. Uh, this one, DSCP message will be generated again. Here you can see a DSCP message again generated. And this one has... Yeah, hello. I can hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Dear... This message is called an offer message. Which one? This message. Here you can see there's an IP ICMP message which has a destination can IP you, address. Can you, make it, can you make it full screen? I can't see clearly. Here this is full screen now. Which one? This one. I say, uh, make, can you make the, the presentation full screen? I can't see clearly. You it can looks see. more. Okay. The presentation, the presentation. Okay, okay. This one, dear. Uh, let me check if there's any possibility to make this. So not even that. I don't know. Can't you make the whole screen? It has to be a full screen. Like the way it was before. It's small. Like it just took one part of the screen. Okay, this one is okay now? No, 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 not even that one. The whole, the whole. Okay, 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 okay. L like this. I'm not saying clearly. No, not like that. I mean the whole, the whole presentation itself. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I will sort it out. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I've done it. I've done it. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So this message is called an offer message. Here you can see that it has the destination IP address, right or not? That is ten dot ten. Okay. Perfect. And this will be forwarded to what? That will be forwarded to to your your switch. Here you we will see the complete information. Here, okay. What is the destination IP address? It is again broadcast. Okay. 255.255.255. Okay. Because why this is broadcast? Because this PC, this PC don't have any IP address. That is why this is broadcast. Okay. But we have a client hardware address. Which one? 0003 E4 2B and 0095. That means this packet is made for what? This packet is made for what? Made for this PC. Right or not? Yeah. So this will offer this IP address 10.10 .10 to my PC. This will this will offer this IP address to my PC. Still, my PC don't have any IP address. Let me check. 
no we don't have any ip address right so this packet will yes. be forwarded to everyone all of them will reject why because the mac address belong to this pc this will accept okay yeah okay again we can't see the ip address here because two process all is remaining yeah. but i'm getting we have done two process yeah discover yeah, yeah. offer okay. offer offer yeah yeah now what will happen it will reply okay now we still we don't have any ip address it will reply yes i am the i am the same yes i am the correct one okay we have every information here now ip address client ip address hardware address everything we have hello 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 please unmute hello hello yeah can yeah, you hear can me hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Dear, so this is this is this is sending a reply message. What a reply message? Yes, I'm the correct one. So this message is here. This green, this yellow packet is what a reply message. Okay, it has all the information here. Okay, because server address is ten dot one. You already know your client address is this one. Okay, client hardware is this one. So let's see. Do we do we get an IP address? No, still we don't have any get any IP address. Why? Because the two processes remaining. It will be broadcasted. Okay, everyone will will reject except of my DHCP server. Okay, so it is it it is getting the reply message. Okay, after that it will again forward a packet in which it will have the same information. Okay, ten dot one client IP address server address. Okay. and here the client hardware address everything will be available and it will be again broadcasted and everyone will everyone will reject except of what this pc why this will accept because this is the correct yeah, because it does the correct um, pc that is supposed yeah. to be allocated the ip address yeah. yeah this has the same mac address that is sending okay and it has to be alloc allocated so this will accept the dscp request okay the acknowledgement message will be sent and it will get the get the ip address here you can see the dscp request successful okay dear now any confusion with the dscp server no no that is clear now dear i think you you got the clear understanding what is going on okay so that is four step yeah, process yeah. first of all it will send a discover message discover oh, message yeah, yeah discover oh, message will be forwarded the router will send an offer that 192.168.10.10 it has offered this one it has offered this one okay and it it send a reply message what yes i need the ip address and after some time it has sent the acknowledgement and it it this pc has got an ip address which one 192.168.10.10 okay you can yeah. see this ip address available here yeah okay so that's all for today i hope you understand this very well yeah so tomorrow we will cover up the topic that is ether channel okay okay and from from tomorrow we will start the routing remaining okay. 50% okay now more okay. than 50% has done okay dear okay okay have a nice day okay you too take care